Step inside the booth and I loosen the tie. 503 Line is alive. LDBC, what's up, man? It's your boy 503 Line. Late night grind. Coming to talk to you. I got a question, man. You know, and it's just a, this is a, a pure boxing question. You know, for people out there, hardcore fans, casual fans, just boxing talk, man. Texas Trail boxing talk shit, right? You know, I've been thinking about old Terrence Crawford. And um, ain't nobody really brought this up. But I want to bring this up. Because in the LDBC, man, we got different cats. Different uh, content, different dialogue, different thoughts, you know. We all look at the uh, game of boxing and the sweet science different. You know what I'm saying? And we got brothers in the LDBC. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's, it's guys all around the world. They probably feel like this. They feel like Tans Crawford is is just going to come through and steamroll everything at 147. And everybody got their own opinion. You know, it's all good. You did, because it's all boxing talk, man. We all fans at the end of the day. You know, we don't have no personal ties to these guys, even though I'm from Texas. Uh, Air Spence don't pay me, pay my bills, man. I'm at work, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, my thing is, with Earl Spence and uh, Terrence Crawford, right? We already know what Earl Spence can do at 147. We've been seeing him in now with the strongest welterweight, the biggest welterweight, in my opinion, Kel Brook. Uh, seen him against, we've seen him in there against uh, Peterson. You know, even though Peterson was a guy moving up from 140, uh, he's certified at, at welterweight, if you ask me. And, uh, Terrence Crawford hasn't done nothing, man. You know, he was the king at 140. You know what I'm saying? But there's this whole stigma around Crawford saying that he's really a weight bully. Shout out to uh, CJ Goodfellow from the Boxing Clinic. He made a great video about that earlier. I checked that out, man. Go check that video out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Boxing Clinic, man. Um made a great video about these dudes, man. Uh, but I don't really feel like Terrence Crawford was, uh, you know, being way bullying. I think a guy like Crawford, uh, he just took his time in 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 a, in a, uh in the pros. You know, he he was disciplined and. He took his time, man. He started off at 135, 130. How like all these other guys did, like Broner, Floyd. You know what I'm saying? And he worked his way up. You know, is that the wrong with what, what Terrence Crawford did, man? You know, I'm not mad at Crawford at all. Yeah. I had to take a Gatorade break. Well, like I was saying. I'm not mad at T. I'm not mad at Bud. You know, the dude is a king in, in his own right. But when you stepping into that lines den, bro, with people that is as big as you and as strong as you, it's a whole another different ball game, Jack. You know, it's just like LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? He could put up all these immaculate numbers and, and, and break records and all that. But when it comes playoff and finals time when he going up against Kevin Durant and, and the Golden State Warriors, bro, it's, it's just a different, it's a different animal. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I feel like Terrence Crawford is, is about to walk into. You know what I'm saying? What I really want to know is if he don't look as dominant as he looked 
in his previous fights at 140, if he don't dominate Jeff Horn, if, if Jeff Horn come in there and rough him up, ruffle his feathers, make it a rough and rugged and nasty fight, and he might go 12 rounds with, 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 with Terrence Crawford. Will you, will you guys keep that, <clears throat> that same energy? Dudes like um, Santee, my brother, you know what I'm saying, Southside Boxing. Is you is, is you cats gonna keep that same energy, man? That's all I wanna know, man. About the old Terrence Crawford beating my boy Spence. You dig? That's all I wanna know, man. And it ain't no disrespect. It's all boxing talk. You know what I'm saying? I, I know them I know them guys is riding with uh Bud, man. You know, they they already didn't let it be known. And that's what I like about the L D B C man. It's, it's so much different content and dialogue, man. You know what I'm saying? Dudes, dudes ride with who they want to ride with. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't no ho- it is no hoes boy. Anybody can get it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I want to see how Bud gonna look in this, in this fight with Jeff Horn, man. I really do. You know what I'm saying? And if he don't look as good as he looked against Andongo and um. Felix Diaz, John Molina, you know what I'm saying? Victor Postal, all these guys he dominated at 140. Uh, I don't know, man. We, we shall see, man. I'm excited, man. It's your boy 503 Line, man. Till next time. Peace.